good guys welcome back to the first take I'm at a Reese and uh, we're gonna be checking out something I've been waiting a long time for because they've held this back for a while I think it was slightly delayed for something which is supposed to be out at the later or half of this year and only a couple of months they really haven't promoted this anyway so it's taken a long time for them to drop this school passengers it's got Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt in it interesting combination already interesting so I think uh, personality wise they actually kind of similar when you see them in interviews not really serious people they like to joke around a lot but I don't think this movie is comedy I think it's more like a proper sci-fi something or whatever but let's not get into it let's, let's, what's the trend to see hello Asking me on a date? She didn't seem that impressed. Wow. You clean up pretty good yourself. You two look fine this evening. We're on a date. Very nice. Took you long enough to ask. So, why did you give up your life on Earth? the Avalon with a destination. 120 years hibernation means a wake up in a new century on a new planet. But a year ago, everything changed. Hello? Anybody here? Hello? Do you know what's going on? But nobody else is awake. I think something went wrong with the hibernation pods. We woke up too soon. Years too soon. Yes. This can't be happening. We have to go back to sleep. We can't. Like I heard it was just supposed to be those two on this shit, but I woke up early, I heard that part. But I like the fact that they find ways to put other people in there. So Michael Sheen, always good. Never a bad idea putting him into a movie in any small part. To have him as like, I guess he could be like the computer. Whether he's only in the position of the barman or he's just like the voiceover as well. That they're gonna have that, you know, like you know with Star Trek where they chat to the computer and it talks back. That ain't a bad way. To wake up though to find that it's just you and Jennifer Lawrence up in the ship. That's uh, I, I, there's worse, there's worse situations to end up in until the ship starts fucking up, and then yeah, yeah, then it's uh, worrisome. This script is supposed to be amazing. That was always the thing I always heard. The script is amazing, they can't wait to make this film. This is back before you know they actually started making it. And that's what drew the two together. Also, heard Jennifer Lawrence saying that this was a hard movie for her to make because of a love scene in the movie. It was her first sex scene and she panicked like a motherfucker she had to get drunk beforehand because Chris Pratt's a married man and that kind of gave her anxiety so that's going to be funny to watch in itself who would be your ideal wake up in a space station alone with person yeah man or woman like if you find yourself waking up and you're alone and you're going to have to be alone for like 10 years who do you want to be alone with presuming there's other forms of entertainment on this ship, as it's cinema, as a, as you can listen to music, you can do shit, but you just need someone to do it with. You know, of all the shit I've read about this, I think I'd actually know who the director was. Morton Thailand doesn't ring a bell. I'm quickly IMDb this guy. See, 
boy he's done like oh imitation game okay okay oh and headhunters as well that was like a swedish movie yeah that's gonna be cool i need i think we need some good sci-fi man but for, for it to be at christmas time i'm not sure exactly what it's gonna be on the week of but i think it's gonna it's still gonna be within the wake of um Star Wars Rogue One but I, even Rogue One's kind of an unsure thing I don't think people have been talking about it as much as the episodic Star Wars Star Wars movies so you know eh, I'm not sure I don't I haven't really felt the anticipation like, I'm excited for Rogue One but in the general population I haven't really felt that anticipation the same way so it may not be that bad to have something come out in a couple of weeks after that drops there are quite a few other films coming out around Christmas time, so it's gonna be an interesting, interesting battle. I know they put a lot of money into this, so this needs to succeed. Let me know, guys. Write comments down below. If you like the video, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I'm Eddie Reese. This has been my first take two passengers. Mm, that looks cool. Later, guys.